this was the most comfortable bed we had in a long time. So we're just gonna check our tire pressure. Now I'd like to say this is like a regular thing, but it's actually the first time we've checked in ages. Don't say that, Oli. <laughs> to check it first thing in the morning so that you can do the pressures when it's cold but we always kind of start riding and then we're like oh we didn't check the tire pressure and by then it's already too late to check so so we're running 38 in the front and 42 in the back and at the moment it's 34 and a half in the front so we can put a bit more air in there and we've got this amazing Lexin USB charged tire pump which is just amazing because watch I just set the tire pressure on here to 38 PSI, press the button. Can do anything I want now, just chilling. Read a book. And look at that. Three and a half PSI up in like 30 seconds. So good. Okay, let's check the back, hey? Yeah. By the way, I just want to mention that we will give Bumblebee a wash today. By the end of today, Bumblebee is going to have a new chain, new sprockets, totally clean, perfect tire pressure. Oh, can you believe it? How often do you just park up and both of the valves are in perfect position? Not very often. Okay, so we're looking for 42 and we've got 38. So we're going to move this up to 42. Perfect. Job done. So just to remind you guys why we're getting the chain sprockets replaced in the next city. Here we are missing a roller. Normally you've got this shiny silver roller on each of the chain links and this one that roller is broken off. It's the same thing that happened to us in Chile and the reason it's breaking is because the chain is stretching so it's no longer in line with the sprocket. You can kind of see, look at the gap here. And so basically that means it's constantly clicking and uh, that's causing damage to these rollers. So what happened in Chile is first one went, then the next, then the next, then the next, then the next. And eventually it became pretty dangerous to ride like that. So this time we decided we're going to get the chain replaced from the first roller breaking. And then we're going to be safe and happy and alive. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's watching us. I just gave our card to that passing pedestrian just before we left. And now he's watching our episodes. <laughs> Amazing. There we go. Getting fans on the way. Good morning world. Welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the city of Taraz in Kazakhstan. And it's a beautiful, cool morning. Blue sky, sunshine. You can't really ask for better conditions to no. start the day, can you? No, we had as well the best night ever. I didn't want to get up. I didn't really didn't want to get up. The yeah. bed was so comfortable. <gasps> I think it was what less than 20 pounds a night. Well, actually she asked me first for 26 pounds and then I asked her if there's a cheaper room and then she said, okay, 19 pounds. There you go. <laughs> yes. My bargaining queen getting it down under 20 pounds every day. Yes. The quality of the place was just incredible. The bed was great. One of those nights where you just randomly get a great sleep. It was great. Yeah. So we've been repaired and refreshed and today it's time to do the same for Bumblebee. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we're going to be taking this road to reach the city of Shimkent. So we've been in contact with the motorcycle garage in Shimkent to do this chain and sprocket repair on Bumblebee. They're amazing there, even though they haven't met us, they've only been in communication with us through WhatsApp. They've already ordered all the parts for us. They've got the parts. So basically they're just waiting for us to get there today. Yeah, exactly. It's really, really cool. Yeah. And now if we get a chain and sprocket set now, that's going to last us all the way yeah, back to England. Exactly. Fingers crossed. And we can take on some other dirt roads, eh? <laughs> so, but it is 100 miles to reach Chime Kent. It will take us about two and a half hours. It's already nine o'clock. So better hit the road. Let's go. What an absolutely amazing road here in Kazakhstan. Look at this. 
after having quite a few days on these crazy little dirt roads up in the mountains of Kyrgyzstan it's really nice actually to just be like cruising on a beautiful highway with this amazing landscape around yeah it's a nice change for sure sometimes we go off on a four-day adventure and break everything on the bike <laughs> and then sometimes we cruise down a highway and go and get the bike fixed okay there's something smoking in front what is it? Is it just the exhaust tubes from this one truck? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. I thought there was a car on fire. <laughs> That's a lot of smoke from one truck. It is midday and we've just arrived in Shankent and this garage should be somewhere just up ahead and the temperature has definitely come up the bike is recording 33 degrees already wow yeah it got hot really fast yeah it's always hot in cities we just had to do like a massive detour because they're doing a lot of road works here in the city oh actually i think there's even more just coming up ahead oh no yeah the garage is like on the other side of this road works but oh no no we've got to go down here okay try and find our way around how do we get there was it that one though this one gotta go down a side street oh no that's a garage it says i have to turn in just a second this one this one i think so or near here i'm just going to zoom in on the map okay i see okay next one <laughs> next one <laughs> One more and then, damn it, it was that one. One more Yui. I think it's this one. Okay. Okay. I mean, there's a motorbike there. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's something to do with that. Okay, let's check it out. So it should actually be... Yeah, this one, or, or this one. Okay. Hello. Da, da, da. Da? Ah, da, okay. <laughs> okay, I knock on this door. Okay. Thank you. So, what's the situation? We're at the right place. We've been in contact with the mechanic, but he's not here at the moment. So we're just waiting for him to get here. Yeah, I think it's just his home actually. His home is over there. And his kids are really cute. They just came and said, oh, puppy is coming very soon. <laughs> and we were like, okay, we wait here. But yeah, as you can see, there's a big construction going on here. <laughs> He's going. Chain! Front sprocket and back sprocket. Three day road. Uh huh. Two day off road. Two day off road, okay. Ah. <laughs> we are not sure how many more dirt roads we want to take because we have already broken our suspension and our bearings and now we are trying to make it home to England. I'll take the rear wheel off anyway, I'll have a look at your rear wheel bearings. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, right, let's put the stuff in. Bye Bumblebee! Bye Bumblebee! <laughs> so Kirill said that he's also going to check the rear wheel bearings for Bumblebee whilst the rear wheel is off, which is awesome, just to make sure that we are going to be 100% good for the next leg. I'm excited about it. Ta-da! This is our apartment for the week. It's so comfortable. I tried out the bed already. It's good. I'm happy. Yeah, and the owner said that this building is like brand new. So I think we're actually the first guests to be staying in this room. Absolutely amazing. And I can tell you after 16 months on the road, the most important and amazing thing I'm looking forward is a 
comfortable sleep. And I think we will have a comfortable sleep here. So now we're just gonna wait patiently here until Kirill lets us know that Bumblebee's ready to collect. Later that same evening. No way. Let me see. There she is. So guys, we just received a message and it was literally a picture of Bumblebee outside of our apartment block. <laughs> Bumblebee's here, but I don't know where Kirill is. But check out the bike. I mean, first of all, look how clean it looks. Then we got an amazing new chain, a new sprocket. Then he actually exchanged all three bearings in the back, like the two wheel bearings and the one sprocket bearing which is absolutely amazing. He sent us a video. Have a look at that. Yeah, that bearing did not look very good. To be honest, people did comment on it and they said, well, that bearing is not sealed and it means that dirt and dust and everything is gonna get in there and it's gonna get really bad and it did look really bad. So it's really good that he changed everything out on the rear wheel. We asked him to check the front bearings and he said that they were absolutely fine. So that's really good. So Bumblebee is looking absolutely amazing again, hey? I'm so happy. So we're just waiting for a reply from Kittel. We'll, we'll find out what's going on in a minute. Okay, update. We got a message on WhatsApp from Kittel. He said he's gone back home and he said he's gonna come and pick us up later because apparently we're all going for dinner. Yeah! <laughs> Super cool, I'm super excited and he seems like a really awesome guy, he is really into motorbikes so it will be amazing to talk to him. Through the magic of Google Translate. Yes, thank you Google. <laughs> so I have no idea what time this is all going to happen so we're just going to be chilling here, he said he's going to come pick us up. <laughs> it's like we're just sitting here just waiting for things to happen. Yeah, awesome. Hey, hi. Hello. Hi, Ah. Спасибо, thank you. Ира. Ира. Оли. Очень приятно. Ира. Ира, nice to meet you. Lovely. Nice to meet you. Yes. The bike looks amazing. <laughs> amazing. Oh my god. Yeah. This one here is apparently cheese. Копченый сыр. I mean, can't get better, hey? <laughs> Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive. Yes. And Bumblebee is as well, happy and alive. Bumblebee is looking better than ever. Thanks to Kirill, mm -hmm. who did an amazing job, Bumblebee. did all the repairs beautifully, cleaned Bumblebee up. Yes. We ready to hit the road. We had an amazing evening with these guys. It was just so much fun to talk to everyone and have a really nice meal together and just enjoying Chime Ken. It was really, really cool. But that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.